Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Today we got another speculative coin mining video. Uh, this one's on Spider. We will see what it's about, and uh, as usual, we'll figure out how to mine it. See you in a bit. All right, so real quick before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got a few of these videos coming out every week where I find coins that either have just come out or have only been out for a little bit, little bit maybe a week or two. Uh, try and jump on them, get as many coins as I can while the difficulty is low, and I pass that information on to you guys, all right? So do that real quick before we move on. And with that, let's get into the, here's the Bitcoin talk on it, the Spider Coin. Again, all these links will be down below, uh, so don't worry about trying to find any of this information. Uh, Spider Coin is an open source project based on PIVX code. Blocks are generating simultaneously with the help of hybrid proof of work, proof of stake algorithm. Uh, the website right here, um, Spider's VPS is the first social VPS hosting platform based on blockchain technology aimed at creating a strong community around it and offering high-tech services. So it's a masternode uh, coin, proof-of-work coin, proof-of-stake. Um, on the surface, seems like a decent project. Um, again, I'm not going to read through all of this information. Phi2 Algo, not a lot of coins use that. Kind of a unique algorithm. Um, I'll put this down below, like I said, and you guys can go through and, you know, check out all the information if you want. Um, like I said, it's been out for a couple weeks, I think. Let me see here. What do we got? It's March 2nd, so a few weeks it's been out. I had noticed it before. I just hadn't had time to do a video on it, but here I am now doing one. Okay, so how to mine it. We're going to need the wallet, which is right here. So you're going to want to go ahead and go down here. And I downloaded the Windows 64 QT. If you got Linux, it's up here. Or if you got a Windows 32, it's right there. So NVIDIA rig, let me pull that up. I, um, as usual, downloaded it, unzipped it, and put it in its own folder. And there it is right there, Spider QT. You just double click on that. And if it'll stop lagging, it pulls up and this is what the wallet looks like. Typical QT wallet, uh, got a nice design, easy to read. Unlike, the, unlike that Ravencoin Dark, that was pretty, uh, pretty hard to read that wallet. Uh, if you wanna look at that video, it should be popping up. Uh, you can just click on receive, type in whatever label you want for you to call your wallet. Um, I did one test here, etc. And once you hit request payment, um, you get something that'll pop up like this. And here is your wallet address right there, which you'll need for the miner. Speaking of miners, uh, on NVIDIA, uses the uh, crypto dreads crypto dread seems to be a pretty good miner a lot of people it's used for a lot of coins so latest version here windows 17 uh, CUDA 10 that's what I downloaded and use let me go over to my miners folder right here I unzipped it called it crypto dread 17 uh, dash spider you can call it whatever you want just remember where you put it let me go into here. Here, you're going to create a run.bat file, which basically you're just going to open a notepad file, and you're going to paste this information in right here. Only thing you're going to want to change is, of course, your wallet address, which you just got from your wallet, and pool address, which is optional. Maybe you want to use a different pool. There are a list of different pools right here. I'm on goss.cx right now, trying to. Um, spread the hash rate around to different pools. Pool.life looks like the major player right now. Uh, and I got a couple other pools here as well. But anyways, all of this stuff will be down below, including both run.bat files, so don't worry about trying to, uh, you know, find this stuff, all right? Try to make it as easy for you as possible. And this is the miner running right here, so what I'm going to do is close that. And for the purposes of this video, 
if it'll stop lagging. You click on edit. So what you're going to want to do is your notepad file is going to look just like this. Once you paste all this information in, change your wallet address. You're going to click on file, save as, and you're going to want to save it in the folder, of course, that you unzip the miner to. And I'm going to name this run1.bat. Make sure it's a .bat so it turns into a Windows batch file. And there you go. So all you got to do now, there's the file we just created. Double click on it. Miner pops up. And it's as easy as that. And as you can see, it's mining away. So let me close this out. And I'll show you, a. there's a new miner for AMD. I've, I've never heard of this miner before. Let me get into my uh, AMD rig. If I can, sometimes it hangs up. AMD rig right here. So I'm mining a metaverse. Yeah, metaverse on this right now. So let me go ahead and close that. Shut that down and I'll show you what the miner looks like. Okay, so the miner is going to be right here. Team Red Miner. Now, I've, I haven't heard of this. I think it's a fairly new miner. Or at least I haven't heard of it. Looks like it goes back uh, November, October. Been around for a few months. But this is for the AMD cards to uh, mine the Phi 2 Algo. So I unzipped that. I downloaded this version right here, the latest version. Windows Zip 0.43, and I put it in its own folder and I called it Team Red. So let me scroll down, Spider. Team Red Miner, where's it at? I know you're in here somewhere. Red Miner, Red Miner Spider. So you go into here, run.bat file, let me show you. Simple run.bat file. You're only going to need to change your wallet address, of course, right there, just like in the NVIDIA one, and your pool address. So all you do then, you get the same thing as you did on the NVIDIA one. You can open up a notepad file, paste this information, click Save As, and let me move this up. I told you this rig gets really laggy sometimes. All right. So there's Team Red Miner folder. So let me call run 1.bat. Make sure it's a .bat just like the other one. And there we go. And of course, all you gotta do is double click on it. It'll pull the miner up, see what kind of cards you have, and set the, um, the values to it as far as difficulty and stuff like that. And as you can see, it's mining away right now. So let me head over to the pool. And I think we're going to be right here. 2.24 is what I've mined so far on my um, NVIDIA rig. It's a, which isn't bad. I know that seems like it's a, not a lot of coins, but it's a 25 um, million supply. So that's not bad for a 25 million supply. I'll show you the price here in a second. So there's my NVIDIA rig right there, and then the AMD rig, which I just turned it on and just showed you how to do that. So you always want to make sure it connects to the pool, your rigs. Okay, so speaking of price, it is on Graviex. Is that now Crex24? And as you can see here today, it is really spiked up. We're at uh, 4,081 Satoshis, is that right? So I went over to Google, and you can figure this stuff out. So let's just put 4,000 now. And we're at 16 cents US right now for that coin. And I've been mining, let me see if I can find the pool again, for a couple hours. Let me see, 16, about six hours, I guess. Got about two of those coins, roughly, depends on the price though. And that's giving me about 26 cents. 6, 12, 18, just 4. It's going to be a little over a dollar a day on this, which isn't bad in this market. Um, so, I guess go ahead and start mining it yourselves, guys. See what, uh, see what you get. 
it's not a bad uh, not a bad price right now and it is buying and selling as you can see there's a lot of buying and selling you scroll down right here people buying and selling it so it's definitely on the exchange you can mine it and sell it right now and uh, probably wouldn't work out too bad for you I want to hold mine as usual wait till the bull market bull market comes in uh, but I guess it's going to be it for today guys um, Again, that's how to mine spider on AMD and NVIDIA. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. I'll definitely get back to you like I always do. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you liked the video. I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.